Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is a movie review channel if you're new here. I'm trying to review every single movie ever made and I'm going off of this list on Wikipedia of 65,000 movies. I'm doing them in alphabetical order because it seems like a sensible way of doing things and this is episode number seven. And this week I'm reviewing a movie called One Day, which is a British crime film. Uh, it's about gangs in Birmingham. Birmingham is England's large, uh, second largest city. And this isn't just any old gang crime movie. It's also a musical, which I was very surprised to learn about. Yeah, they just... They just start rapping sometimes in this movie. They're just doing normal gang stuff, and then they, uh... They search into doing raps. Sorry, I'm sort of getting ahead of myself, but I just thought that was so, uh... Cool, because... I've never seen a movie like that, and I probably wouldn't choose to see a movie like that either. But it was because it was on my list, and I'm doing every single movie, so I ended up watching it. And you know, this might be the first movie I've seen that's good. Well, I guess the second movie I've seen that's good, because I saw The Question Marked Motorist, and that movie was excellent. This movie, it's not even that bad. It's okay. Uh, let me tell you a bit about it. I've reviewed plenty of black and white movies on this channel, but this is the first black movie I've reviewed. Sorry, that's not a very good joke. I'm not really uh, fully awake today. Um, yeah, because this movie is set in Birmingham and stuff, uh, and they use a lot of slang. I couldn't always understand what they were saying. They use like different words. They call money Skrilla. I've never heard that before, but sounds cool. Also, I can hear what they're saying sometimes because. Uh, the torrent of this movie that I downloaded was extremely compressed and low quality. It was like 250 megabytes. I think it should be illegal to upload a movie that low quality. Oh, I guess it is. Um, this movie is about a gangster called Flash. And Flash's life is turned upside down when the gang leader, Angel, is released from prison. Uh, unexpectedly. Angel wants his money. And Flash doesn't have all of it. So yeah, it's pretty standard set up for a movie, you know, where the guy has to get all the money in a very tight deadline. Angel says, I want that money today. And Flash is like, oh, I need that Skrilla. How am I going to do it? Except the stakes aren't that high, uh, which is a bit of a problem I had. Because um, usually in that kind of situation in a movie, you know, if they don't get the money, something terrible is going to happen. Like they're going to die or someone they know is going to die. Um, but Flash and Angel seemed kind of friendly, actually, so I wasn't really, like, afraid for Flash's life. Um, Angel is even, uh, going out with Flash's sister, so... You know, like, nothing bad is gonna happen to Flash or his family because of Angel, because... You know, Angel just wouldn't do that. I kind of like these characters. Uh, good performances in this as well, you do end up liking them, um... Actually, I don't know if I like Flash, he's kind of a scumbag. There's this kid who sneaks into his car, and when he throws the kid out of his car, Flash makes fun of his trainers, and then he's like, look at you, look at the state of you. And then he tells him to go snatch handbags. <laughs> uh, so, he's meant to be shown as being like conflicted about the life he leads, like, oh, should I be doing crimes for a living? But he, he can't be that conflicted if he just tells this kid to go do it. Um, I guess that's meant to be one of the, the themes of this movie. Uh, it's not very subtle with them. It's like there's one scene where a pastor is just saying, Oh, Flash, you need to stop this crime life you're leading. Uh, just to get Skrilla, you need to straighten up. And Flash is like, I know, I know. And then there's one where he's talking to his mom and he's like, Sorry, mom, sorry. And he has like a gun and drugs. And she's like, What are you doing with gun and drugs? So yeah, the rapping is pretty uh, entertaining, really. Uh, I thought it would be, like, awkward and weird to have characters, you know, launch into, like, pre-prepared musical numbers. Uh, and it is, but the movie's kind of iffy, so it really uh, elevates it. I think I kind of like musicals, actually, which is something I wasn't expecting to learn about myself. But yeah, I've never been, like, one of those people that's like, oh, I hate singing in movies, don't sing songs. I'm like, yeah. I kind of like it because it's like surreal sort of 
because this movie doesn't do a good job of like reflecting real life because it doesn't feel very gritty and realistic um so yeah i like kind of movies that are sort of depart from reality and just sort of say yeah fuck it this is a movie and the characters just sort of act like they're in a movie instead of real life and it's very uh weird Oi. What are you staring at? You don't like man cause I'm wearing black. You don't like me, I don't want to be hearing that. You don't like man cause I'm wearing black like woman. I don't mean to be rude, but you don't like me cause I'm eating food. See? That's just weird. And I, I, I can't like it. And the music isn't that bad either. So yeah, I've said that Angel isn't much of a threat in this movie. Uh, but there's also the rival gang that Flash has to look out for. Um... And they're like trying to fucking murder them, but when this rival gang shows up, they're not like too threatening. There's one scene where Flash is getting rid of Grave, and uh, the rival gang shows up and they start shooting at them. Uh, the rival gang starts shooting, but it's not portrayed as very like realistic or threatening. Like you don't actually feel like the characters are in any danger. They just sort of like like they were just throwing water balloons at them or something and they're just like oh these guys again all right let's go um and then flash is getting chased by them and then he escapes by uh walking into a shopping center and walking into a shop and then he just gets on a bus and that's how he gets away from them so it's like oh good one flash that's how you uh so you earned your nickname i guess by being very uh very hard to catch so i was just complaining about how this movie isn't too like gritty and realistic and that's kind of true for most of the movie, but I was actually surprised by the ending. Um, because, you know, we're not too afraid of Angel and what he's going to do to Flash if Flash doesn't get his money, and we're also not too afraid of the rival gang. And so I thought the movie was just going to have like a non-ending, where it's just like, life goes on, and this is how Flash does things, and it's not a great life to lead, but it's his. Um, but the ending is actually pretty good. I'm going to spoil it now. Uh, it's the rival gang and uh, Flash's gang. They meet up in a car park. And, um, they end up, like, all of them shooting each other, and basically everyone dies. It's like, wow, okay. I like movies that are disturbing and horrible, and just, uh, go really miserable towards the end. So I'm like, yeah, you know, respect. That was, uh, entertaining. It had emotional impact, which I wasn't expecting. I thought this movie was going to be quite bad, to be honest. Um, it's because, uh, like I said, Angel is Flash's sister's boyfriend. And then this kid that Flash is taking along just yells out that that rival gang leader was also seeing Flash's sister. And they're like, you what? And then they start shooting just from that. And it's like, yeah, pretty good scene, actually. You know, this movie's decent. The writer and director is like this 60-year-old woman. And I was going to be like snarky and stuff and say, wow, the perfect person to make this movie. But uh, actually, she it looks like she did lots of work with like the community and... Uh, all the people, uh, it's like, uh, what do you call it when they hire actors off the street and they're not professional? That's what they did, and it feels pretty authentic, so yeah. Good performances, like I said. This movie's okay. Maybe I'm saying too much nice things about it, it's not actually that good. It is a British film, so it's sort of like a, you know, it's an, I'm not judging it by Hollywood standards because I expected it to be complete shit. Uh, and that's all I have to say about that movie, really. It wasn't too bad. Uh, I give it two stars out of four. It all right. And yeah, thanks for watching all the way to the end of this review. I think when I was thinking of what to say for this one, I had the m moment of like, what is this channel? Why am I doing this? Because I'm going to have to review a lot more movies that I also don't have any special interest in. And it's like, what am I even saying? And would I watch this if I wasn't the person making it? Truthfully, I don't think I would. But it's just nice to make something and put it out there. Even if you don't really uh, have any uh, ideas or motivation. Uh, it's just something that you just watched, I guess. So well done. Uh, anyway, as the end of that review, I'm going to stop rambling. The very next video will be One Mile to You. Oh yeah, you're going to have to wish me luck because the next three movies I have to review are all romantic comedy movies. One Mile to You, and then One Night, and then One Night in San Diego. I was thinking of doing like 
double bills. So I review two videos. So I review two films in one video. I don't know if I'll do that or not. Anyway, I'm in a very weird mood today, so I don't know why I said half the stuff I said in this video. It must have been this can of Dr. Pepper I drank a couple hours ago. I'm already starting to feel its effects. Anyway, this video is over. Bye.